In my last lesson, I taught you how to play Stuck by the Aces, which are a really cool band that I'm in love with. And today I'm going to teach you how to play their song, Waiting For You, which has a really cool bass riff that goes all the way through the song. It uses two chords, so I think even if you're a beginner, you'll be able to play this. If you're advanced, you'll be able to do loads of funky stuff with it and make it your own. So I'll show you the different parts and then you can have some fun with it. Okay. So the bass riff for the whole song goes that kind of thing. Okay, so it's all in the key of A major. Okay, so if you know that scale, you have to play along and put solos on. So it's going to start on the A note. So it's box number five of the big E string. I'm gonna hit that twice. I'm gonna show you quite a basic version of it and then obviously you can add in your own little riffs and different things and make it your own. So hit that twice. Bam, bam. And then you're gonna to go to, and on the A string, you're gonna do this hammer off from five to four. Then back to your first note. Okay, and that's the first bit. Dun, 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 Okay, and then you're going to go to the seventh box of the big E, which is a B note. Hit it twice, and then you're going to do a similar thing. You're going to do your play hammer off, so seven to five on the A string. Then back to the seventh box of the big E. can finish on box number seven of the A string. So the whole thing really slowly. all it does all the way through and when it goes to the chorus the guitarist in the verses is doing the old little riff so listen to it try and work out it changes every version I hear of it she's doing something different which is pretty cool but in the chorus she's playing two bar chords she's playing an A major bar chord okay and a B minor bar chord and she's literally strumming it once you know what I know I think you know that kind of thing, okay? So it's a strumming and count to four. So your A major bar chord, you're going to bar the fifth fret through your first finger, then second finger is going to play box number six of the G string, third finger is going to play box number seven of the A string, and pinky is going to play box number seven of the D string. Okay, if you can't do that, you can play a normal A major chord up here. Works exactly the same. Okay, then. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can add in strums however you feel fit. As long as you're counting in time and you're playing in time, it's going to work. Okay, and then it goes this shape, slide it down, two boxes, and then take your second finger off and you have a B minor chord. Okay, so it's barring the seventh fret with your first finger. Third finger plays box number nine of the A string, pinky plays box number nine of the D string. If you are a beginner and you want to play along and you can't do that, it's too hard, okay, then you can play this B minor chord up here. Okay, so all you're doing, first finger goes on the second box of the little E string, second finger goes on the third box of the B string, third finger goes on box number four of the D string, pinky goes on box number four of the G string. Okay, so if you're beginning, it's eight, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, 
Oh wow, this is happening. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Obviously you can add to it, you can change it, listen to a song, add in your own different things, and you'll get it down in no time. Hope you like this video. If you want to see more guitar lessons, there are hundreds on my channel, so check them out. And comment, like, and I'll see you next time. I know.